as the month-long Louisiana gator season enters its final days, swampers are scrambling to tag out. Normally, I don't get a, a big, huge amount of tags, but boy, this year I overloaded, but you just gotta push through it. Hunters pull out their secret weapons. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Being a swamper, I pay attention to Mother Nature. So observing it, feeling it, makes a swamper really good at what he does. As they push hard to cross the finish line. Oh. Ripping my ball apart. Welcome to the swamp. When I was just a little boy, standing to my daddy's knee, my papa said, son, no. Only 48 hours left in southern Louisiana's alligator season. And in Franklin. OK, T, you going to back me up? Yes, sir. Daniel Edgar is feeling the pressure to fill his remaining 35 tags. I'm sure there's some big oh, ones here. Oh, there's got to have big gators here. But, uh, but I mean, you know, you and Joe don't catch big gators, so I ain't worried about y'all. <laughs> Today, he's taking his partner, Big T, to a dependable honey hole known as Bayou Corn that he saved for the end of the year. Coming to the end of the season, the monsters is what drives you. You know, we're kind of in a monster frenzy. We want the big ones. That's what we live for. This particular hole, there's some really good gators there. It's almost like money in the bank. Tough to find. This remote area has provided Daniel with many giants over the years. Where's the line, T? We got one. Can we try it this way? Damn, I'm passing it on the bottom. There's something pulling. You think? Let me see if I feel him pulling. Oh, look, he's over here. It's way over there, whatever it is. I, I'm going to try to catch the string. I felt the string moving as well. Wait a minute. So, Daniel, it's kind of dangerous. I oh, know. There's probably an alligator on It's wrapped completely around the tree. I'm reaching deep. Be careful. That's the damn hook. To Daniel's surprise, their first line is empty, despite a prime location. Big alligators right here. As the pair encounters line, oh, man. after empty line, oh my god, after empty line, what the hell? Their confidence in this secret honey hole falters. Lord have mercy. Daniel's most reliable spot is turning out to be a bust. That's the problem, T. Look here, T. That's why, that's why the alligators are not biting. Golly! See, that's the Good problem. Lord. That's why we're not catching these gators. See. And there's a willow fly. They are absolutely ice cream to the fish population. And the alligators like them because the fish are eating on the willow flies, and it makes kind of a buffet for the alligators. So willow flies, fish, alligators, 
All one big swamp buffet. Daniel calls upon his decades of swamp experience for a solution. T, uh-huh, these alligators want to eat fish. I'm going to give them fish, buddy. They got a lot of Asian carp right in this area. Well, let's round them up and see if we can catch one. Get one to jump in the boat. All right. All right. Twenty-two miles away in Bayou Sorrel, solo hunter Willie Edwards has just three tags left, but he's reserving one for his longtime nemesis. Every time I come to this hole right here, I get lots of alligators, and uh, got one in here. I love to have my treble hooks on him. It would be a fight. That sucker is big. Yeah, I call him Ironside. He's a battleship, and he's built for a war. Yeah, well, Ironside, he's like the old ships from the Civil War. I mean, bullets would bounce, actually, literally bounce off of him. I done shot him a few times. I mean, 22 just died, penetrated his skin. He's sneaky. He won't touch bottom for a long time. But he's big, and he ain't got big for nothing. He knows just what he's doing. I seen a big pile of bubbles right down here, right there. I think I'm thirsty. You gotta let that thing go all the way to the bottom, because that's 40 foot of water right there. I'm getting past him now. Coming up, too. I got him in the right spot. I got him in that back leg. And he can't pull like he wants to pull. Of him. Look at him, let him go. Finally, I got him up to the top of water, and I could tell right then he wasn't no Ironside. I mean, he didn't have near the scars on his head that Ironside got. I mean, I didn't seen Ironside close up, and uh, we just got to keep going, and it's going to pay off. He's going to make a mistake, and when he makes a mistake, I'm going to be there to capitalize on that. With just two tags remaining this season, the search continues for old Ironside. To the north, in Bell River, Ronnie and Ashley are strapped with a daunting 22 tags left to fill in the final two days of the season. So yesterday, Ashley pulled out her secret weapon. This is my gator juice, Ronnie. Your gator juice? This is going to be the money-making game changer right here. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, Jay, I ain't never heard such a thing, but we're gonna try your remedy, and we're gonna see if it works. Come on, baby, you need the secret sauce of yours, this, this mom. Mississippi Magnolia sauce. Your Mississippi Magnolia sauce. So I've got a secret weapon. I'm hoping that it brings some gators around. We've kind of hit a lull here, so I'm hoping that this will ramp things up a little bit. I don't know about this Mississippi crap working, Jay, but we're going to see. Jay, this one's down, Jay, Jay. This is one with your sauce, huh, Jay? The first one, huh? Come on, pay off. Come on, Jay, Jay, come on, Jay. Let's see if your sauce is working, Jay Lau. Get that gun ready. I'm ready. Watch 
Ronnie and Ashley are battling a giant hooked on Ashley's secret sauce. Ooh, I'll let him pull you up. Watch him, girl! Oh. Get him over here, Ronnie. Come on, the papa. Yeah. Yes, he dropped the hammer on this dude. Come get on Which the other one? side of yeah. me real quick. There you go. Come on, big boy. Right there, right there. First freaking secret sauce gator? Jeez! <laughs> okay, you, you're starting to make me a little believer here, Che. Roll that joke in the boat, baby. There we go, Che. Oh, now, that's a good one there, mama. <gasps> Woo! Woo! Good job, Ron. Good job! <sighs> God, I love a big gator in the boat. Over in Bayou Black, Frenchie and G are pulling out all the stops to fill their last 19 tags. Uh, hooking up to Cinderella. Frenchie knows a remote marsh he thinks is full of alligators. But to reach it, they'll have to call upon the third member of their team, Cinderella. You can't run outboard in the shallow water. So we gotta use the shallow water boats to uh, go get the big alligators. How will I feel if a little boy fishing on the leaves where I fished at got attacked by an alligator? Well, I had something on this to stop that from happening. You know, it ain't all about the money. It's to protect one another. Last season, the duo struggled to load heavy gators into Cinderella without almost capsizing. This year, Frenchie's got a solution three aluminum rolling pins welded together to make loading easier. Rolling pin, huh? Yep. Yeah, Frenchy come up with all kind of ideas. He got a wild imagination. Always want to come up with something new and try it. So we'll try it. If it works, it works. If it don't, we try it. Like lying down. Might break the ice. Has something been around? Oh no. I see some tore up. Got him. Like he went on the bank over there. Come on. Wait, uh-oh. Do we have them? Oh. Boy, you were right done. Hey! Oh, Nella. Oh, hey, what you doing now? Hey. Hey, whoa! Oh, that felt good for the first shot of the day. Yeah, got blue. This eight and a half footer is a good catch, but it's not heavy enough to truly put Frenchy's swamp engineering to the test. He comes shooting across. One less you got to worry about. Yeah. We can't come out uh, big one at the beginning. We gotta warm up. In Bayou Corn, Daniel and T are changing their baiting strategy and using their boat as a fish net. Man, we almost had one. Catching a grass carp is like Shaq trying to make a free throw. It ain't very easy. Asian carp are known to become agitated and start jumping when they feel the vibrations of a boat motor. Yeah! Oh. All right! We got it, Steve. Got us a bait, baby. <laughs> Finally got us one. We got it, T. With a huge carp on board, Daniel and T circle back to rebait their lines. 
I hope we didn't go through all that trouble to catch this thing and it don't work. Oh, look. To an alligator, this is better than ice cream. They love that cork tea. That's what I'm talking about. Now he got it. Now, that looked like a bait for an alligator. That's what I'm talking about. 22 miles north in Bayou Sorrel. With only two tags left, Willie's on a mission to catch a formidable foe. Yeah, uh, this is part of old Ironside's tail territory back here. He travels the ways and everything. And, and, oh, probably close to, I bet you, 60 years old. You don't see that many big ones around like that one. He's like hunting a ghost. I just seen him just now. Now the wind gonna pick back up. He's right here. The older Gator gets, the smarter he gonna be. And he gets ahead, he learns from his mistakes, and he gets ahead on his shoulder. You better play his games. If you try to fight his game and try to do it your way, you ain't killing him. He, he gonna get away from you every time. This gator, I'm pretty sure he's 12 foot. There he is right there. I'm gonna catch him with the treble hook right now. I think I missed you. Are you serious? Once again, a bullet doesn't seem to phase old Ironside. Has he? Cool. That's him for sure, but uh, trying to find that thing in that deep water. He's underneath the boat out here. That's him for sure. Looks like he's way out there. I just can't believe this. I think he got away again, again. I mean, he does it to me every time. Are you serious now? That son of a bitch. It's a disappointment, big disappointment. On Bell River, Ronnie and Ashley are off to a good start. And they've already bagged five, thanks to Ashley's secret sauce. I just figured that maybe we'd change things up, and at least nothing else, the garlic and things in the sauce would overpower the rotten smell. And the combination really works. I see one up there to the right. Oh, it's down, it's down. Ooh, the secret sauce, baby, struck again. It had to. Whatever it is, it's wrapped around a tree. Yeah, it's pulled up on that log, too. Chase, something's pulling here, big. I got the gun. Oh, my God! What? This is a nice one, baby. Go on, go! Come on, baby. Get the boat. This dude's a fighter. Yeah. Watch him. Watch him. Hold on to him. Come on, let me get you a good shot. I got you.
What I'm screaming, Jay. I think he's still got garlic on his breath. I smell that nasty thing here, Jay. Dude, I was so totally against you putting that on these hooks. I didn't think it was going to work, Jay. Let me tell you what. You change a brother's mind in a heartbeat. This brute makes number six, but they still have 16 more left to tag out. Put that secret sauce on it, girl. That magnolia mud. I'm all over it. Okay. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm a believer. You a believer? Yep. Is it working, Che, now? Back in Bayou Black, Frenchie and G are using their secret weapon, Cinderella, to tag out in a shallow marsh. Put some blood in Cinderella. You know what you were born to do. Look, he was on the bank right there. He rested. Feel like you? Feel like so. Come on, boy. Where you at? Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh, look like a good one, G. Oh, my dad just here with his string. Oh, yeah, that's a good head. Come on, hey, give me that shot. You give me that shot. Hey, whoa. Nope. Get in there. Hey, hey. 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 Like we broke out now. This 11 foot behemoth will put Frenchie's creation to the ultimate test. Got one. Got the other foot. Right. Hold it on right there. Hit it and roll. I need to put some grease or something. I need to make some modification and everything because I should have greased the inside pipe for it to roll like smooth like a shitter. It is a, a prototype, and as years come, I, they're going to fine tune it and start making it better. That's a lot of work. Oh, yeah. Forty-seven miles north in Bayou Corn. Daniel and Big T are returning to the lines they baited with carp after willow flies attracted a fish buffet for the gators. This Asian carp tea. If they want fish, I'm going to give it to them soon. There's always little tricks. Right now, we're using this little food chain we got going on as a secret weapon. Not too many people know about all of this. And we're going to use it to our advantage to catch gators. Tea ain't nothing like an Asian carp. You see the lion tea? Tight. T, let's see how big he is. Oh, he feels, T, he feels. What we got? Ooh, he's heavy, T. Oh, oh, he's coming up, T. Wow! I can't hold him. I can't hold him, T. You're gonna have to shoot him. Oh. Watch out, watch out! Shoot him! Give me a shot. I'll get you a shot, buddy. All right. All right. These big gators, 
They love that corp T. We're on a roll, T. Over in Bell River, Ronnie and Ashley have filled 12 tags, and with just 10 more to go for the season, Ashley's magnolia sauce has proven to be a gator magnet. Hey, babe, what is that there? Is that an alligator head sticking out the water? You see what I'm seeing, or is that just yep, a long? Yep, sure is. That's a gator? Uh huh. Within minutes of rebaiting, a hungry beast is already circling. One of them's about to go up and grab our line. You see him? Uh -huh. He's creeping up. He's about to go up and grab that let's freaking go, let's chicken. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh my god! I've never watched that before. You see how quick it is? Oh, it'd be nice. He jump on the line. We come on, go get him real quick. Oh wait! He's freaking pulling he's it. He's got it right there. See like him? Like a dog. Oh, he's out the water halfway. Yeah, he is. Oh, he, took oh, it. he just got it. He got the line. We're gonna creep up there, baby. That just made my freaking day. To I watch. know it is pretty cool to watch yeah. it. Boy, that lion is tight, girl. Just that quick, Jay, huh? He's gonna be full of it, too. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, here, 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 here's the stick. Thanks to Ashley's secret sauce, the duo are just nine gators away from tagging out. Oh, yeah. On for the next one, Che. Back in Bayou Sorrel, Willie's down to his final tag of the season and he's determined to use it to catch the elusive Ironside. You know, Ironside gave me a slip again, I mean. And if I don't hurry up and catch him, I mean, he gonna be living another season. Once he get on the move, it's very rare you snag him with a hook. I mean, he's up off the bottom, he doesn't move from the area where you threw the hook at. As if on command, his old nemesis rises to the surface to taunt him. I didn't hit him. I got awful close. That was definitely on side right there. A lot of fish too, though. But oh yeah, that's him. I rubbed something right there. Well, on side, you got to hit him square on. You got to hit him right. If you don't hit him right. You ain't kill that alligator. Inside's a big old alligator, but he might live another year the way it's going. Got so much fish here, it's hard to keep track of his bubble. Go right over here, and I'm gonna make a loop out in his grass. We gotta have a dinosaur come out there. 
Willie uses the noise of the boat motor to flush Ironside out of the weeds. Right there. That's a big one. That's a big one. I mean, that thing was like a rock. Unless he hung on a log or something. Got him. Ooh, what a big one. In Bayou Sorrel. Got him. Ooh, what a big one. Willie's nemesis, Old Ironside, is about to pull him out of the boat. I didn't think that alligator was that big. Got him in the Ooh. Got him in the neck. I'm talking about a bull. Oh, what a bull. They rolling up. Come back up, buddy. Finally caught old Ironside. And he's tough as nails, this gator right here. He got all his eyeballs busted out and everything else, and he's still going strong. He's bigger than what I thought. That thing's heavy. Willie's tagged out, but his season isn't over until he puts this 12-foot leviathan in the boat. No way. I'm going to hook him off to the front of the boat, and I'm going to pull him to a tree where I can get a come along on him. And ain't no way I'm getting that gator over in this boat. Not by myself. Willie will use a chain-link winch called a come along to get this 800-pounder on board. Yeah. Oh, Ironside, he's going to the shipyard. It takes a one-ton come along to put him over in the boat. He's still fighting strong. Got to make it work. He's coming out of the water. Oh, Ironside, running out of chain. Now all I got to do is get that tail and stuff over in the boat where I can let him back down. Wonderful to finally get Ironside. I mean, you've been tormenting me forever, and you just the right time, right moment, right day. He just messed up. Just like that, Ironside is loaded. When I snap the last tag, it's just like a big relief from just lifts off of your shoulders. I mean, you, you you ain't gotta struggle and fight every day to get up and go and hunt these alligators and try to feel them. When you snap that last one, it's like it's just unbelievable how it feels. Ironside is done. Over in Bayou Corn, Daniel and T's carp bait has helped them reel in eight beasts. Got a nice one, T. See his head. Looks like a decent one, ain't you? Oh, he's pulling that tree. He's not happy about us being there. He don't like you. He certainly don't like me. Oh, that's a nice alligator, T. Come here, big oh boy. Oh, God. What you don't look? He's looking at you. I need to get the string oh. off of his tail. Be careful doing that, T. They fast, yeah. He's fast, fast, fast. Watch him, watch him. Oh, that man's mean. Roll on it, on it. Watch that rope. That rope is starting to free. I just can't hold him. Let me try to 
Good shot, T. That's a man. That's a big one. That's a good one there. Look at the feet on that thing. I'm beat. Daniel uses his winch to lift this 600-pound brute into the boat. Come on. Come on in with him, T. That's it, T. Oh, my goodness. Look, that's a 14 boot. OK. Now, we got to hurry up. We rolling right now. Daniel's carp bait may have saved the day and brought him one step closer to tagging out. Back in Bayou Black, Frenchie and G's own secret weapon, Cinderella, has hauled in 18 giants. After unloading their catch at the dock, they're down to the final tag of the season. One more tag, dude. One more tag, and we're done. We done? Mm. I got a little tear running down my cheek. Why? Can't shoot nothing no more. <laughs> Line down. Last one. In Bayou Black, Frenchie and G have their tag out gator on the line. Another big one, another big one! Bitch, hold! Oh. Yeah! Put me bad at me, y'all, my man. Oh, he was hitting all right? my chest. Man, he got four in him. Hey, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'll get my pole now. <laughs> Up the big one. Oh! 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 That time I get cool. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Give me that shot. Frenchie and G end their year with a monstrous 11-footer. Right here. And the season isn't complete without one final salt and pepper celebration. The end of the season, so we're going to cover everything. This is a wrap. Thank you. 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 Hello. There we go. Hey, T, be all right. We're out of here. Wow, we done. <laughs> Not the last alligator of the season when you tag out. It's a good feeling and a sad feeling at the same time. Uh, I feel very successful. I ain't going to have to worry about hearing no one getting bitten. But the areas where we fish and we harvest a good bit of uh, killer. Back in Bell River, Ashley's secret sauce has lured in 21 gators, and they're down to their last tag of the year. One more tag, baby. We got to get this joker filled, Jay. One more, baby. One more, and we done for the day. How did we're we done for get the year. Babe, we've been rocking and rolling, Jay. Oh, baby, we down here, Jay, Jay. Oh, Jay, right there. Oh, baby. Feel it? That on his head gonna be down here? Come on, yo, Jay. Hold on to him. <laughs> whoa, whoa, watch it there, baby. Pull him up, I'll pop him. Come on now. Have a fight. Ooh, Jay, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, 
baby, get that gun ready. I don't think okay. he's hooked too good, Jay. Okay, poppers there, Jay. If I can get Day long, Tagging out early has Ronnie thankful for his new hunting partner. It's all gravy, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much, babe. Without you, I couldn't have done nothing. There's no doubt in my mind picking Ashley was the best choice, and I have no regrets over that. That girl can flat out get it. But we got it done, girl, and I couldn't have done it without you, babe. No way. I'm going to tell you right now, if you in for next year, Che, I want you, Che. Boy, I'm going to need a little rest. Oh, yeah, I know. You get 11 months, Che. Yeah. I'll give you 11 months to rest. Come September, we're going to be at it, right back at it again. I wanted to come and do this and make sure that we filled all the tags. But it was also definitely hard work. You know, it was fun. It was rewarding. It was fulfilling. It was frustrating. But I'd love to do this again. If anybody has an opportunity to explore and do something new, do it. Let's go, Trey Lab. We'll see you next year. What a great season. Unbelievable, baby. Oh.